Um, hi everyone, um, Mr. Mzuli MV. Um, welcome to Tibet uh, Tutorials. Um, today we're going to be doing uh, chapter 10, which is your financial um, statement. Um, please uh, don't forget uh, to like and follow us. Okay, uh, this chapter uh, it usually has anything from 50 55 uh, 60 and 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 the likes uh, for this question paper it was uh, 61 marks so when you when you tackle this question paper uh, you will see or this question it has got three questions uh, the first one it's uh, using the incorrect uh, trial balance uh, write the correct trial balance which it's going to be for 24 marks and then number two it's going to be income statement uh, which is going to be 15 marks and then number three it's going to be your balance sheet which it's going to be uh, for 22 marks and that gives you a total of um, 61 mark which it's more than a, a or actually a quarter of 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 your, your 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 final exam question paper because your question paper it's gonna be over 200 so um the best way um good people uh, for you to deal with uh, this uh, income statement trial balance and balance sheet is that you first need to understand these two sessions there's the balance sheet session and the nominal account session so the, ban the balance sheet session uh, it has got your assets and liabilities uh, the nominal account it has got your income and expenses so on the balance sheet you'll have things like your capital which it's an assets drawing liability vehicle assets equipment assets furniture assets bank assets petty cash liability debtors liability creditors assets and bank uh, or fixed deposit which it's an asset then on the nominal account, as I've said, you will have your income and your expenses. Um, commission, which is an income. Rent received, it's an income. Interest on fixed deposit, it's an income. Advertisement, it's expenses. Fuel, it's expenses. Wages, refreshment, insurance, membership, vehicle expenses, and electricity those are expensive so when you tackle or when you start with uh, the trial balance for you to be able to do it nicely you need to add all of this amount adding everything from the capital up until the last uh, transaction so you will add 500 4000 220,000, 2006,000. We were lucky enough uh, because on this um, activities or on this question, we were given the total. So if you are given a total uh, like this, it's much easier. But if you don't have or if you are not given a total, because sometimes in other questions, you don't get uh, to be given the total. So for this one, 
um, we are given the total. So the total is one million uh, two hundred and eighteen thousand. After adding everything uh, from this transaction, when you get this total, you need to divide this total by two. So if you take your calculator and divide one. 121 1,218,000 so if you take your calculator and you divide 1,218,000 you will get uh, 609,000 so you add everything here you get the total you divide that total by 2 so dividing 1,218,000 you will get um, 609,000. So you write that 609,000 on both sides of, 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 of your, your answer book. You can write inside here um, on, on, on the last column or you can write outside of, 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 uh, of, of the, the answer book. So that makes you to know that, okay, when I'm now going to put the transactions on the debit side, the total that I need to get from the debit side, it needs to be 609,000. And also on the credit side, it needs to be 609,000. Right. So when you're having uh, this, when you're having the total, um, you now need to put... Uh, the transactions here the first one we are having um, a capital so we will take the capital this one it's capital um, it will be followed by drawings after drawings we have vehicles after vehicles we've got equipment after equipment we've got furniture uh, Finisher followed by bank. After bank, you will have your petty cash. After petty cash, there's debtors. After debtors, you will have your creditors. After creditors, you will have your fixed deposit. And then the last transaction under the balance sheet section, it's your loan. Um, which was from global bank so this is your balance sheet section that will have your assets and liabilities we are done with the um, balance sheet section we will now go to the uh, nominal account where we will have commission, rent receive, interest on fix, on fixed deposit. It will be followed by advertisement, wages, um, refreshment, or your refreshment. Um, you will then have insurance. Um, membership fee and water and electricity vehicle expenses then we'll have water and electricity all right so um, we've got these transactions we'll now then put man so in most of the time when you come to the credit site Credit side, not a lot of transactions they usually happen or take place on the credit side. So I usually advise um, students or candidates to, in most of the time, start from the credit side because from the credit side you will have something like. Um, The capital your capital it's always on the credit side so it's gonna be um, 
500,000. Then another that it's going to be on your credit side, it's actually the creditors, which in this instant it was 24,800. Um, commission, which is 43,000, followed by rent receive of 10,000. And we need to go into 609,000. We are on 577,800. So it means we are not done. We will also add the loan, which is 20,000, and the bank, which is 9,600. So you've got your 5,000 or 500,000 as your capital. You will have your bank as 9,600. You will have your creditors as 24,800. There is a bank or commission of 43,000 that is rent receive of 10,000 and also interest on fix which is 1,600 then that is the total of your uh, your creditors you can see that it gives us the very same amount what usually student or candidates does is just after putting some um, money or some transactions on the credit side, they don't go back and calculate or check whether this amount they give you the total. Yeah. So just that because now I'm using Excel, Excel it's 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 calculating for me. But when you are on your own, when you are uh, writing the final examination, after you need to go back and do the calculation. If you get this total, you can see that we got the total that we were uh, we we once had or we were looking for. So. That's why I'm saying in most of the time we need to start from the credit side. So we know that we're getting the total here. So we need to come to this side of the debit side. So everything that it's, 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 it's left here, that it's not um, put from uh, or put on the credit side, we need to put it on the debit side. So we will start with um, the drawings so we will have 4000 for drawings we will have 220000 for vehicles we will have 155000 for equipment 155000 for equipment um there's 220 for e vehicles um, 4,000 for drawings. We will have furniture, which is 87,000. Uh, the bank, it's on the credit side. You will have your petty cash of 800. You will have your debtors for 15,000. You will have creditors on the credit side. Um, your fixed um, deposit of 80,000 you will then have your advertisement for 4,000 you will then have fuel of 6,500 followed by wages of 16,300 uh, the refreshment with 2,400 Insurance, it was 7,500. 
we had a membership uh, of 2,500. We then had vehicle expenses of 2,000. We then had 6,000 uh, water and electricity. You can see that we are almost in 603,000. So obvious when we add this 6,000, we going to reach the 609,000. So when it's like this, it means your trial balance, it has balanced because both sides, um, you have the same uh, total. So good people, if your balance sheet has balance, you willing struggling when you're now going to do your income statement and your 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 balance sheet because for you to do your income statement you only need your nominal account you only need your expenses and income and if your nominal account session it's done correct like this this is how your income statement will look like because this will be your expenses this will be your income and then the other two are gonna be your your plus other income so doing the right trial balance make your life very easy so when you're now going to do the balance sheet or the income statement you will use the nominal account so you can even focus only on your 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 trial balance because your income statement will start with commission received so our commission received it was 43,000 we write it on both sides and we had also plus other income so on the plus other income we had what the rent receive and the interest on fix of each of our rent was 10,000 and then rent or interest on fix um, it was um, 1,600. So when you add 10,000 and 1,600, you get a total of 11,600. So the commission and the plus other income, they give you total income for the period. So our total income, it's going to be the commission, which was 43,000 plus 11,600. Um, if you add 43 plus 11,600, um, you will see that you will get um, a total of 54,600. So our income for this month, it was 54,600. So in order for us to be able to determine whether we made profit or um, we 
we we lost we need to take uh, the total income and minus or subtract uh, the expenses so we're gonna have less expenses so everything that it's left here after we have took uh, the income these are all your expenses so we we'll put them here and then we take a uh, all these transactions so you wanna write them here so when you add four thousand six thousand five hundred sixteen thousand two thousand four hundred seven thousand five hundred two thousand five hundred two thousand and six thousand you will get a total of forty seven thousand five hundred so you will then now take your income and subtract the expenses so when you take the income and you subtract or you minus your expenses if you get a positive or if you get an amount that it's gonna be plus that it means it's a profit but if you get a minus answer it's gonna be a loss but if you check 54,600 multiplied by 7,200 you will see that actually there was um, a, a profit because the total here or what we get after subtracting we will get 7,400 So you will have your income for the period, you will have your expenses, and then you will have your profit because it's not negative, so that it's profit. So this will be 15 marks one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen so you are done with your trial balance income statement you will then now focus on your or move to your balance sheet so when you do your balance sheet you will now then focus on what on your balance sheet section but before you can do your balance sheet section you need to do two notes you can do it on the question paper or space provided on your answer book because you need note one which is your capital uh, note two which is your cash how do we get this um capital you take the opening balance so you take the opening balance and then it's either you will have a profit or you will have 
loss. So if you have a profit like we are having a profit here, it means you will say plus profit. Then you get a total. You will then less drawings. You will subtract the drawings. Then you'll have your total. So opening balance, where do you get opening balance? The opening balance, it's the capital from the total balance. So it's going to be 500,000 plus profit of 7,400 and then if you add these two so if you add 500,000 and 7,400 you will get a total of 507,400 507,400 whereas your Drawings were four thousand. You you then subtract the drawings. So from 507,400 um, we subtract 4,000 we'll get a total of 503,400 so that is our note 1 so note 1 needs opening balance which you get it from it's your capital from the child balance and then either it's going to be a profit or a loss from the income statement and then you subtract the drawing so that is how you get your note one note two it's cash it needs petty cash petty cash a cash flow and a bank that it's on the debit side so so this is what usually a note to um, consist of. But when when you look at uh, the trial balance, our bank is on the credit side. So it means in this instant, we're going to look at the petty cash and the cash flow. But also when we check from the trial balance we will see that we only have what the petty cash so it's gonna be the 800 for petty cash so our note 2 it's gonna be 800 because we only have petty cash there's no cash float and the bank it's on the credit side so 
your balance sheet section or your balance sheet can now uh, or you can start to your balance sheet uh, so when doing the balance sheet section or the balance sheet the last part of it um, it will start with capital capital employed which under capital employed you will have your capital which is your note one remember we did note one which was 503,400 so it's going to be 503,400 you write it here and then the next uh, step it's going to be your long term liabilities um, it's not always where you had your long term liabilities but if you look at this one we do have because we do have got um, a loan of of 20,000 so long term liabilities which it's a loan from the bank okay all right so the loan it's 20,000 so we're gonna add the 20,000 for the from the bank which it's the loan so we will then add the 20,000 and the 503,400 where we'll get 523,000 that is our total we will then move to employment of capital of capital where we will have your fixed assets remember when you do your balance sheet section or your balance sheet you will need a uh, the balance sheet section from the trial balance so we're looking at things like assets and liabilities so now we deal with fixed assets uh, first we've got your vehicles you will then have your equipment and then we'll have your furniture so fixed asset we've got vehicles <coughs> sorry vehicles um equipment and furniture so your vehicle um it was 220000 uh, equipment it's 155000 and furniture it is 87,000 so when you add 220,155 plus 87,000 you get 
your fixed asset to be 462,000. That's your asset. You will then have the networking capital. which under networking capital you will have your current asset isn't on the employment of capital we had fixed assets on networking capital you will have your current assets which under current assets you will have your cash which is your note two you will then have your debtors so note two it's 800 Okay, just fix this. All right. So it's eight hundred, and then your debtors. It was fifteen thousand. So you will then have your current asset to be fifteen thousand eight hundred. So on your networking networking capital you will have your current assets to the value of fifteen thousand eight hundred and then you will have your less current liabilities on the less current liabilities you will have your creditors and your bank overdraft since your bank from the trial balance it's on the um credit side it means it's a bank overdraft that's why when we were doing um the cash um or note number two we didn't include the bank so we're now going to include the bank here so your creditors it's 24,800 and then your bank it's 9,600 24,000 and 9,600 So from your current assets or we need to add your current assets and get the total of 34,400. So your current assets 
and your less current assets need to give you a total of your networking capital so in order for you to get the total of the networking capital you take the current assets and you subtract the less current assets so you will see that um 15,800 15, minus sorry minus 34,400 you will get um, minus 18,600 You had your investment, which was which was a fixed deposit. of 80,000 yes Okay, so if you add 462,000 and 80,000 and then you will then subtract this 18,600, you will get the 523,000. Then your balance sheet will have balance. Then from there, you can copy this and put it here. You can copy this. and put it here so your balance sheet will have balance because from the employment of or capital employed you have 503,400 and then you will have your long-term liabilities as 20,000 that gives you a total of 532,000 then employment of capital under fixed asset you've got 462,000 and then investment of 80,000 and then there was the networking capital the amount 22 8 and minus 18,600 that will give you a total of 523,000. So the key on financial statement, your trial balance, income statement and balance sheet is that when you do your trial balance, um, it must balance. So if your trial balance has balance or it's correct, it will be easy for you to do your income statement and your balance sheet so first thing first like you should remember just when you are given a question 
that doesn't have the total we were lucky on this one because when we calculated or oh, they, they gave us a total so you just have to remember to calculate everything that it's given from the question paper after getting it you divide it by two and then you write uh, the amount that you got from the credit side and the, the debit side after that then you will put the transaction like it makes things easier if you start with the credit side because you know capital um, creditors loan commission rent all the incomes they will come to your credit side and then everything that it's left which is your um, your expenses and your liabilities will be on the debit side so remember after putting everything on the credit side you also need to go back and calculate and see whether you get um, the total that it's there so if you still get the same amount it means all the transactions they are correct so usually uh, you'll find that maybe uh, the bank it was on um, the debit side Let's take the bank to the debit side you will see that this amount was going to be lesser than what we, we got when we calculate everything so you don't panic what you just need to do you take the amount that you get here and you subtract here so if you take 599,400 and subtract 609,000 you will definitely going to get the 9,600 and then you will see that no 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 uh, the bank does not belong to the uh, debit side it belongs to the credit side of the balance so it's gonna be like that then as I've said before if you have made your nominal account section to be uh, well like this then you're not going to strike when you you go to do your income statement because income statement only need the income and the expenses so you'll just take the commission put it as a commission received and then you will then add the other income because if you take the commission you will be left with rent received and interest on fixed deposit so that it's your other income and then what it's left it's going to be your expenses so you add the expenses you put them as the total or expenses here then you take your total income for the period you subtract your expenses you will then either get positive amount or a negative one so if it's a positive one it means it's a profit if it's a negative it's gonna be a net loss so now because it's a positive one it's a net profit so you are done with your income statement so coming to the balance sheet it's important for you to start with your note one and note two note one needs capital opening balance either profit or loss drawings then note two which is cash it needs petty cash cash float and a bank which is on the debit side so this one for this question it was on the credit side so that's why we put it on the less current liability or its bank overdraft
you will then have your 61 max so that is chapter number 10 or of your travel office procedures and five um, please don't forget to like the channels give it a tutorials and subscribe for some other videos